my channel i am here with miss alaya today we are going to be showing you her five month milestones and basically what your pediatrician wants to see between your four month appointment and your six month appointment so let's get started the first set of skills that we're going to be talking about is going to be gross motor skills and those are basically the skills um, with whole body movements and large muscle milestones the first gross motor skill at five months that your pediatrician is going to be looking for is for your baby to be playing with their head up at a 90 degree angle and their back arched, also pushing up on their arms a bit. My favorite way to encourage this type of play is to dangle a toy above her head so that she just naturally is looking up at the toy, lifting her head, arching her back, and pushing up on her arms. And the next skill is going to be sitting unassisted. So you're going to want to place your baby on their bottom, spread their legs apart so that they have some stability, and slowly back away until they're sitting all on their own. The next set of skills that we're going to be talking about are fine motor skills, and that is more finger movements, reaching, and stuff of that sort. I like to encourage her to reach out and grab toys by just getting her attention with it at arm's length from her and then giving her the toy once she reaches for it and grabs it. The next set of skills that we're going to be talking about are cognitive skills, which are going to be her brain skills, such as thinking and problem solving. The first cognitive skill that your baby should be displaying is imitation. So for example, I'm making a smiley face at her, she's smiling back at me. The second is going to be object permanence, which is knowing that an object is still there, whether it is partially or fully hidden. I like to encourage this by showing her a toy, covering it up partially, asking her where it is, and then uncovering it, and then giving it to her. Continue to do this activity until you fully cover the object. This is also learned by playing peekaboo. Next, we're going to be talking about sensory milestones, and sensory milestones are exactly what they sound like. It has to do with the development of all five of her senses. The main skill looked for here is being able to track a fast-moving object. So for her, I am just getting her attention on a ball and then rolling it. You'll see that she looks from point A to point B and sees that the ball has traveled. Next, we're going to be talking about her self-help skills, and those are basically skills that she will use in everyday life to help herself. Around three months, we taught Alea how to hold her own bottle. Basically, all that we did to show her how to do this is place her hands on the bottle where they should go, and by doing it repetitively, she learned that that is where her hands go on her bottle and started holding it on her own. The other self-help skill is sleeping through the night, but I'll be doing a whole separate video on that. Lastly, we are going to be talking about speech, and that is something that your pediatrician is going to want to see develop from their four months to their six months. They are going to be wanting to see your baby use a wider variety of sounds and also a wider vocal range. The way that I encourage this is so simple. I just talk to her all the time when I'm changing her diaper, when I'm getting her dressed, giving her a bath, any situation, I'm always talking to her. Getting your diaper change. Now, I just want everybody to keep in mind that these are all 
um, skills that babies learn between the months of four and six. And so don't worry if your baby is five months and doesn't know how to do one of these things because chances are they will learn. If you just do these activities and work with them, they will learn how to do everything that they're supposed to. She wasn't talkative for the whole video, but she's getting a little bit talkative now. Um, I also just wanted to say her age. She is five and a half months. She is going to be six months in about two weeks. I'm very excited to start feeding her solids and going into a whole new world of food with her for when she turns um, six months. So I'm about to put her down for a nap, but make sure that you go keep up with me on Instagram um, at Alexis Deborah Jean. I am always keeping updated on there, posting on my story. I am posting twice a week now, Mondays and Wednesdays. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like what you see. And we will see you guys next video. Love you guys. You ready to go, Nanny? Watch out!